tip top, hello hip hop. This your man Raynard, dude. You tuning in to DIRadioCast.com. Believe that, shout it, say word. Why you keep giving your music away for free? How you supposed to get money? We are everything that we doing right now. No trend sets us or locks us down. Unstoppable sound. Palms bloody and open for you to see God's breath quailing. Do you believe? I came out the pussy sideways with my finger up. It screams Scotty every time I pull a beat. No more trying to make it work. You wanna say say bye bye, say bye bye. I'm one myself, so don't act crazy. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you got, I'ma take it. Hold my head up high, I'ma make it. Uh. Uh. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you got, I'ma take it. Hold my head up high, I'ma make it. Let's go, y'all. This that new Pat Poo's joint right here, y'all. Produced by yours truly. About to take y'all back to the Sugar Hill, y'all. This nigga, I ain't gonna stand his Twitter. You know Twitter, what I mean? Yeah. So get at me. It's going down. Me and my nigga DJ New fitting to cook something up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, like I sir. just came back from the McDonald's yeah. block uptown. You know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Let's get ready to go down. 2010, nigga. Dub dub. Get it for your mind, kid. Trouble time. Dig out my back, kid. Kid, be uh-huh. easy, nigga. Yeah, see? Word up. We they out don't know. Now, niggas from 9-5, we don't get old. We get younger. Nah, we get better. We get to yeah, hop and they come back. Niggas up, like, yo, nigga. you still look the same. I'm yo. Like, yeah, I tell niggas I am the grizzly, nigga. I go to <laughs> sleep, hibernate, and pop back up when it's time to come outside, play a bit, uh-huh. yeah. So it's so on right now, it is, y'all. Y'all know how it goes out, Mike Geronimo. Yeah. We yeah. live, serious radio, Shady 4-5. Sure. Just tore sure. the house down. Yeah, it was a good thing. Uh-huh. That nigga knew it was on fire. Yo. Be clear, nigga. You gave me a CD that had straight fire, man. That's what the public wanted to hear. It's only right, nigga. I see, yeah. I see what you, you see what I'm saying? Five, I see that, nigga. Tell you, I see what you yeah. came with. So I was like, yeah. right, let, me, let me get on my shit, too, so <laughs> we don't even quit. You yeah. know what I mean? So, I was like, yo, I ain't even waiting until they say, yo, play this. I was listening right away. I was like, okay. Yeah, got to get into good. this joint. I got good. to get into this. Good. That's what I, it I, is. That pack right. shit was uh, crazy you played, nigga. Uh-huh, I got to take them back to the, yo, I'm from the old school, man. This is yeah. strictly, I like loops, man. Yeah. That's how you get the party going, you so know? We got a, a surprise for y'all out there in the world, kid. What's it, this one of those walls over there that you signed? Yeah. That's one of them walls that you signed over there? Yeah, they got a bunch nah, of them. Nah, there's a bunch of them, right? That's crazy. That's the little one, yes. but you go that way, there's the, the They throw the, like they the, throw the plastic on the wall so you get your hip-hop yeah, on. get a couple of pictures. For sure. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yo. Evolution of the music industry. That's fine. Or what it is, what's becoming. What's becoming of it? Yes. Well, it's all. It's becoming bigger because there's so many more avenues to deal with now. Before, like, it was just, you know, you press vinyl, you do your CD cassettes and all that, and you go out the door. Part, occasionally, you do some stickers, you know what I mean? No posters, just stickers. But now it's just like everybody's doing it so much bigger now. Mm. You know what I mean? That you can actually get your record on with no problem, like with a click of a of a enter button. You know what I mean? You could do all that shit. So you I think, think it's better? Yeah, the evolution is better. Yeah, because it, it it doesn't keep it limited. More people could do hip hop, the more it lasts. You know what I mean? Like if it's only mm. ten people doing hip hop, that shit ain't gonna last for so long. Now, what about the international market? You get records from the international? Yeah. I'm, you play them? I played him. I fuck with this kid named MC Tope, you know what I mean? He out of Russia. I play all the records he sent me. He a dope dude. He on his revolutionary joint, you know what I mean? Uh, I got a, uh, my homegirl, Syria. She's from Africa. She be sending me joints, you know what I mean? Uh, shout outs to um, Melanie Fiona. She was sending me joints before she was Melanie Fiona. <laughs> you know what I mean? Her name was Siren. So I was supporting her music, you know what I mean? Still am supporting her music, so. Have you done an international mixtape? Uh, I haven't done an international mixtape. Most of my most of my mixtapes that made it internationally all around the world 
but I haven't, I haven't like, I haven't really like, people just like get on my nerves sometimes, they just be like, act like they don't know where they're going, but. I haven't, done, I haven't done no international mixtape though yet, but I, you know, all my mixtapes is internationally all over. You know what I mean? That's about it. I, when I'm saying international, I mean, you know, with international artists Different popping artists. off. Yeah. No, I haven't done one of those yet. I want to, though. I ain't going to say I'm not. I, th I, I think am. that would be a good idea. Yeah, I think it is. DJ that, New? Everybody, yeah. everybody fucks with me. I don't know what it is. I, they see the smile. There ain't too many people smile these days that do music. A lot of people you see, you be like, yo, what you do? I do music, and they put the sad face like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you ain't gotta be getting money, man, to be happy, man. Like, you know what I mean? You just gotta be knowing what you're doing is right. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't rich. I'm just doing the music just because I know what I'm doing. Like, mm. That's what I'm doing, and Eventually, I'm getting rich, you know what I mean, as I'm going, but, you know, this shit ain't money. If you coming in the game for money, you, better, you might as well stay home. Go get a job, you know what I mean? Because this shit is all about move making and grinding like you gotta put your shit together the right way anybody can put a record out and it win I'll be right back, guys. but keep winning is the key so you say you're from brooklyn i'm from brooklyn new you're york born in brooklyn born and raised sunset park brooklyn all right um you know people always talk about bronx created hip-hop but brooklyn perfected it what do you think about that I never listened to that. I'm from Brooklyn. We never listened to that slogan. <laughs> you know what I mean? They was they was doing something totally different from us. You know what I mean? We, every every borough was doing different hip hop. You know what I mean? Okay. Everybody wasn't doing the same hip hop. Some people was doing this type of hip hop. Some people was doing that type. But I never really listened to that slogan too much. So what do you think about you know the foundation of the culture and the way people treat the foundation? foundation of all of it mm -hmm. you know what it is a lot of people are shitting on the foundation I keep it real but at the same time I can't I can't blame them because they not from where we from so they don't even know they foundation is the little Wayne's the Drake's you know what I mean that's their foundation because you know they from that school our foundation is like the biggies the pox you know what I mean that's why that foundation is the strongest you know what I mean that's why mm -hmm. we still here and they like yo the same guys is eating because it's just, it was that that 90s era, we mastered music. We knew what people, we mastered grooves, all that hooks, hot verses, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't nobody out there doing that. You know what I mean? It wasn't nobody doing that shit. Dickhead niggas like that don't never get on my camera, for real. <laughs> niggas don't never get on my shit, for real. But that's, that's how I take it, you know what I mean? I don't even blame the youth. Like, if they running up to me and say, yo, Lil Wayne's the hottest guy on earth. I'm looking at his age, he probably like 10 years old. So I'm like, when he was born, Lil Wayne was the hottest guy in the yeah. world. Like, so who are me to tell him that he's not? You know what I mean? So I I feel like Biggie is the hottest dude in the world, you know what I mean? Biggie J, Mace, you know what I mean? I'm from that era. And you know, when I say that, people look at me like, what? Not dumb dudes. Mm. To y'all it's not dumb dudes. But if it wasn't for the 90s, there'd be no 2000. Okay. We made music for them to, you know what I mean? To catch on to. Now, what about the 80s hip-hop? Like, you know, you, you talked about the 90s, and everybody is loving the 90s, but what about the music that made it possible? Like, your Dougie Fresh and, um, what is it? Your Furious Five and people like that that came out with the classics and no. kind of set the pace for the music that we have now. Well, 80s hip-hop, 80s hip-hop is the shit. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? It's just... What it was, it's like, they paved the way for, a lot of kids ain't really want to do hip hop back then, when they was doing it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, they ain't really understand it, you know what I mean? It, it was more dancers than it was hip hop artists in the 80s. Yeah. It was more people break dancing and all that shit, which that shit is all fine, but a lot of that music ain't make it all the way across, because the sound, yeah. the, sound quality, the sound quality was a little different, you know what I mean? So, that sound ain't really make it over, but, what did make it over was the grooves. The grooves of the music made it over to the 2000s, the 90s. You know what I mean? They couldn't hide that. But like a lot of like the samples from the 80s, they ain't really make it all the way over here. You know what I mean? But right now, if y'all know, it's Puerto Rican Day Parade in the city. You know what I mean? I am Puerto Rican. It's crazy outside right now. But sometimes, I just can't really do it. You know what I mean? Like I see why people get in trouble. But... <laughs> I'm just, like I always tell people, wow, I'm a different dude. 
mean? Now we talked about, you know, off camera, we talked about all of the production that you Raps. do. Oh, Raps, you gonna be able to play right there next to the we still live, NYC. I got Africa live with me. She in the city, rolling with DJ New. I know everybody. So at any given time, you live to see any of your favorite rappers run up on me. You know what I mean? I think I'm the only dude that got the geo tracking on his Twitter. I want people to know where I'm at. Wow. Because it's dangerous. It's a dangerous world out here. <laughs> So I'm protected at all times. Now Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, uh, the that, whole... All that is a win. Uh, Twitter, I love it. If it wasn't for Twitter, a lot of people wouldn't even be popping right now. So like Twitter. whom? Uh, let me see. Who could I give it up to? For Twitter? Yeah. I can't, I can't really say who blew up off of Twitter. That's my whole good person. <laughs> Ooh, he's that little kid tripping over them. Crazy, but yeah, you know. Hey, you got to get your shit together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get to hang with nobody. I be busy. Like, it's a fun busy though. But. Tell us about the studio, you know, the, the production, studio. the videography, uh, the... Uh, so you're making mixtapes, comedy mixtapes. Some of the reason why she's down here filming me today is because I'm not only the hottest DJ on the earth, I'm the hottest producer on, on the earth too. So you could probably check a couple of my joints out online, you know what I mean, that I did with 3-6 Mafia smack your head off, you know what I mean? Or you could um probably catch my hits I did with Pat Poos, you know what I mean? Will to Survive, the Rocky, the Rocky theme, Amnesia, the Shot 8 theme, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of those records paid away for me right now, man. They opened up a lot of doors, you know what I mean? So I took it back to original hip hop with the beats. So if you look for beats and you're looking for that body and for that shit you need. That serious um, jump off today. Uh, well, today, uh, you know, I got with serious satellite because you know I'm also Papu's road DJ. In case y'all ain't know, you okay. know what I mean. I'm the man behind the turntables at the Papu shows. You know what I mean. I do what I do. You know what I mean. We just came back from Russia, so when we was out oh, there in Russia, sick. we was in Russia. They went crazy, and I didn't even know I had fans out there. Like, shout outs to Russia. Uh, we was in Krasnodar, and then we was in Moscow. So shout outs to them. I had fans out there. It was big. I had fans out there though. I ain't think like people really be on YouTube. And yo, people would see me and was like, yo, YouTube, new Radio 1. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. I was like, yo, the net is what it is, though. Yes, it is. Love it. But the, you know, um, Papu's road manager, my boy, Do Love. You know what I mean? Um, the comedian. Yeah, he hit, he hit me up and was like, yo, you know, son, I heard you get it in. Like, DJ-wise, I was like, yeah. He was like, yo. Um, Jet top. Hello, hip hop. This your man Raynard, dude. You tuning in to DIRadioCast.com. Believe that, shouty? Say word. Hey, what you doing? Why you keep giving your music away for free? How you supposed to get money? We are everything that we doing right now. No trend sets us or locks us down. Unstoppable sound. Palms bloody and open for you to see God's breath quailing. Do you believe?